It's about damn time. <laughs> Guys, I cannot believe he's finally here, man. When I first started watching Baki in 2018, no figure like this has been made yet until now. This was previewed last year, March 2023, on Storm Collectibles Instagram, kind of a sneak peek. We only saw the back of the figure. We knew he was coming out, but they released the full image of him in July. And guys, I'm excited to get into this one. This might be the greatest figure, in my opinion, of all time. Without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, welcome back to another figure review, guys. And if you've seen these before from me, you know we gotta review the box first. We have a picture of Yujiro, a sinister looking Yujiro on the front. And I'm very happy with this picture, man. It looks awesome. A big son of ogre, Baki Hanma logo from the Netflix version right there. Hanma Yujiro on the front right here. Now let's talk about this. It's spelled with two U's. I've never seen that. You guys tell me in the comments below, is, is this the correct way to spell Yujiro because everybody spells it with one U in English. Also on the front, age 17 plus. So um, guys, if you're, if you're 16 years old or below, man, sorry you can't have this figure. Let's look at the back. We got four heads of Yujiro being shown here. All different looks, looks awesome. We have on the side of the box right here, another picture of Yujiro. Yeah, I'm very happy with this box. Mine got, man, mine got messed up. A little bit here at the top, but I ordered another one just in case things like this happens and hopefully that one didn't get crushed. Now it's time to get in here and let's see what we got. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. <laughs> Man. Woo Man. So they got this guy in here with no clothes on already. Oh man, let me just, let me just enjoy this one second, man. <sighs> I'm just happy. Storm Collectibles, thank you so much. This, <laughs> this is incredible, man. The feel of it already is amazing because it's just, just like the Baki figure. It's made with that skin filling, that rubbery filling. It's not like a, your normal figure. Storm Collectibles does it like no other figure company. He also has his clothes in the box. Here's his clothes right here in this little Ziploc baggie. But first, before I put these on, let me go into the details of this figure. All right, let's start first with the detail of his hair and head. Hair looks great, man. The accuracy of how short the hair is or how long it is down his back looks fine. The eyebrows, perfect, man. The cheeks, the line structure and his giga chad chiseled jaw. Everything looks great, man. This, this figure is already just fantastic. I'm gonna look at the other heads as well right quick. The shocked face, somebody just challenged him. This is one that's really detailed because the hair's all spiked up, looks great. He also has veins in his forehead and above his eyes, which looks incredible. The details of his face, you know, scrunching up the that look looks fantastic, man. The teeth, everything's just structured and designed very well. I have no complaints with that head. Let's look at another one right here, the angry face of him. He's already about to attack his opponent and you know, beat him down like he does in Yujiro fashion. Uh, the face, there's lines all in the face like you would wanna see from him. The hair flared up, flipped up in the back. The guy is angry. Let's look at this last head right here. He comes with four heads. This next head is more of a, you know, gritting his teeth, even more angrier look. And um, this one has veins all over the forehead, which is a great detail in this. Wide eyes, the, uh, the eyebrows look great. The teeth look good. It looks great, man. Let's move on to his physique with our favorite part, the demon back. The demon back looks perfect to me. The abs on the lower back, the detail in the muscle. He's shredded, the striations, they brought it all out. His chest looks jacked, 
huge. The one thing that I do like about this is the, uh, the length of his forearms, the size of his muscles, nothing's too small, nothing's too short. The calves look great. They look very accurate to the, how that he was drawn in the manga and also the show as well. All the way down to his shoes right here. I'm very happy with how his muscle structure looks. Looks great, the abs, the tapered waist. Looks incredible to me. Without further ado, let's go to accessories next. Accessories. First, we have Yujiro's outfit right here. And this is funny to see to me because I've been cosplaying as Yujiro for about four years now. And to see a mini miniature version of his shirt and pants is just funny to me. And I'll get that on him uh, after this. All right, first, it comes with an extra pair of feet that if you don't want him wearing his shoes, you just want him in his bare feet, man, toes and all out, you got that option. And I like that option because we don't always see Yujiro just wearing his shoes, so that's pretty cool if you want to pose him and display him with just his little bare feet out, man. Take some feet pics with him. Um, it comes with seven pairs of hands, and these first pair of hands are more of an open palm and I could see these being used uh, if you want to put him in a position where you know he's smashing the cinder blocks down or something like that. That's kind of a cool option to show right there. These other pairs of hands are just pointing. And I've seen a picture of these of him doing like a one finger push up. So that's another option that you could do. Let's get into these right here. The hands shown when his demon back is activated. His hands are out. <laughs> that's another cool set of hands right there. Oh, obviously needed for you, Juro. These other hands are more just a grabbing hands out. If you want to like grab like, let's say Baki's face. If you had the Baki Hama figure, you could do that. These other hands right here are more an, another grabbing hands. It looks like just a little bit more open palm right there. Just another cool option, you know, to put them in more of a combat pose or to have him fight against other figures. And then this one is another little open palm one. I guess you just want a relaxed hand stance. You could put relaxed hands on there. So that's what those look like. And as we discussed earlier, he comes with four different heads and they look awesome man so different faces if you do do stop motion these do come in handy with him going into that angry mad you know when he brings out the demon face like so you can do that it's very cool i really like this one with veins coming out of his forehead and everything like that so that's an awesome option for accessories and now let's go into color and I'm going to add in the height accuracy. All right, the color of the figure, nice and tan, just like Yujiro is. There's no flaws with like the chest plate being a different color than the arms, nothing like that. And you never see that with Storm Collectibles. They're, they're very good at the detail and the color of the figure. The hair looks great. The eyebrows look great color wise there's not too much to discuss with color it could have a little bit more shading within the the striations of his muscles i'm sure there's going to be some custom figure painters out there that will want to make this even more incredible than it is but uh, let's go to the height comparison to the baki figure and i've noticed this before with how they draw yujiro in the show or the manga sometimes he's way up here or baki's way down here or you know people's uh, heights fluctuate in the show, but um, yeah, it's not a make or break for me on this. It looks great, and um, Baki's just a little taller now. I guess he grew up, man, but um, the comparison to them, it's not like uh, the accuracy of the manga, the show, but like I said, not a make or break. Finally, that was a struggle, man. <laughs> that took me what, 20 minutes to put these clothes on. I probably should have did this articulation without the clothes on, but I wanted his clothes on at some part of the video. So here you go. All right, so his head moves side to side very well, up and down. 
pretty much all around and all the heads you can easily take them off and put them back on so that's not a problem um, uh, the movement of the arms seem pretty pretty good they're not coming out yet and i hope they don't come out because that was hard to put this shirt on yeah the arms move fine you can put them up right here let's get them in this demon back stance yeah that looks awesome yeah let's uh, check the uh the movement of his legs kicking going out he does I've seen him in a position of doing an axe kick. Let's see how he looks. I wish I had a stand because let's see if he um, see if he balances well. Ah, there he does. There you go. All right, legs move great, and the feet, even the toes move right here, which is you know I love when figures come and their their toes move like that. It just allows different poses to make it look like you know if you're kicking another figure in the face. It gives that little slack right there to make it more realistic. So that's a really cool feature. Torso moves very well all around. Very flexible if you want him straightened out. You want him doing push-ups. You want him doing some crunches. Uh, might break like that. One cool feature that I didn't discuss is these hands that I said could crush maybe cinder blocks. They're for putting his hands in his pockets. And I think that's an awesome feature right there. The figure moves great. It's very easy, very flexible. For you stop motion guys out there, you're gonna have no problem moving this figure around. So in conclusion, is this the greatest figure of all time? In my opinion, yes. I give this an overall rating of a 9.9. .9. And that's just a few flaws with shading of the color of the skin. Um, putting on the clothes was kind of difficult, but overall 9.9, .9, very happy with this figure. Guys, you know I had to dress like Yujiro to do this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for all the support. I am out.